Hey, what's up, everybody? I hope everybody doing as well as I am on this beautiful Sunday. Today's lesson is going to be about sacred geometry. And um, sacred geometry is very important. Just to give an overview about it. Sacred geometry deals with like the mathematics of God is what they call it. They call it like the golden ratio. They call it like phi. You know, the circle with the line down the middle. Basically, it's representing like balance and stuff like that. You know what I mean? To the people that's into the Egyptian mythology and all that, it basically represents my art. You know what I mean? And then, you know, you got Zeus and all that in the Greek mythology and all that. So basically, that's what sacred geometry is all about. It's really like holy math. You know what I mean? And, you know, sacred deals with like holy things and, uh, and geometry deals with like mathematics shapes stuff like that geo means earth you know what i mean metry means measure you know what i mean so it's like the holy measurements of earth you know what i mean and uh you know the body is earth you know so like holy measurements of us you know what i mean it's holy it's like it's like everything you see, you see what i'm saying so hey yeah but um just check out the video and just kind of like follow me through this process and uh whatever you don't understand you know you can always rewind the video and then you can always do your own research which is most important if you are able to understand things on your own and you had the time go learn on your own you know what i mean go, don't just take my word for it go do your own research because this is an inner thing you know what i mean it's all about awakening or becoming one with your eternal internal spirit all right, so just follow me, man, and y'all will see where I'm going with this at the end. Now, check this out. Second geometry ascribes symbolic and sacred meanings to certain geometric shapes and certain geometric proportions it is associated with the belief that a god is the geometer of the world all right so it says sacred geometry ascribes ascribe means to write and you know symbolic you know that that's that's representing of uh, symbols so symbols that mean things all right and sacred means holy, okay? Geometric means the measurement of earth, or the, in this case, the measurement of shapes, which still is earth. Geo meaning earth, metric meaning measure, okay? And certain geometric proportions, all right? So certain type of shapes, certain type of, you know, like I, just, like I just said, shapes. It just says, uh, it is associated with the belief that God is the geometer of the world. All right? So that's where you get the, the uh, architect of the world from. So like I was just telling you guys, symbolic means serving as a symbol. And the other definition means significant purely in terms of what is being represented or implied now check out some of these uh synonyms you have figurative representative illustrative emblematic allegorical parabolic non-literal elusive suggestive and mnemonic all right so the key ones that caught my attention was allegorical and emblematic figurative and of course non-literal all right so we have to be aware of these things now when we talk about the geometer the geometer was just a representation of uh, Christ. This is the picture of the geometer. 
Uh, you know what I mean? So this is like the master architect, even though we know that, well, esoteric, uh, exoterically, with the EX, not the ES, all right? Exoterically, we understand that Jesus or Yeshua was black. So this is representation of Yeshua from the Hebrew side of things, all right? And so, and the other nations, so to speak, or whatever, when they so-called replaced Yeshua with their own images as Jesus or Serapis and all these other gods, the Zeus and everybody else, right? It's only a representation of the cell body, you know what I mean? The the zygote. So that's what this is all about. It's talking about the zygote. And if you notice, when you do your research, just put in zygote or something like that and just start doing your research, you will see different images representing these images. All right? So that's what it's all talking about. And when I say representing these images, like I don't mean like all the images that um that y'all see. A lot of these images represents sacred geometry. But when it comes to the egg of life and all that kind of stuff, that's representing the zygote. Alright? You know, just like the, um just like the Jesus sign that represents sexual reproduction in the mind, you feel me, and in the body, baby Jesus, you know what I mean, like these symbols right here, it represents sacred geometry, you know, well, well I was telling you, well, in another video, I'll be telling y'all about the vesicle Pisces, but basically all of these are radial patterns, radial patterns, R-A-D-I-A-L. You know what I mean? And so, it's, they call it the sacred geometry, but really they radio pattern, radio patterns. You feel me? Uh, but yeah, they call this the flower of life, but at the same time, it's the electromagnetic field that goes around the earth. You know what I mean? All directions, everything, like everything there is, like to make anything is inside of a bunch of these that they call the flower of life and the physical Pisces. That the, the you know uh, two circles makes a physical Pisces, and a bunch of physical Pisces makes the rest of it. Like the same thing is going on right here. It's just symbolic of. The eight cells, or you know, the cells that 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 continuously duplicate to create you, a human being. You know what I mean? They just keep uh, doubling and doubling and doubling and doubling. Just recycle, 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 uh, recycle. You know what I mean? Well, not necessarily recycle, recycle, but duplicate. You know what I mean? It continues to duplicate until it becomes you, and it don't stop. And of course, and your cells reproduce. Every seven years, so it's just a continuous thing. You always, you continuously reproducing, man. That's how it goes. You know, they call it the egg of life as well. Um, and believe it or not, the sun actually looks like this. It's just a cluster of balls or whatever. If it let me tell it, I would think it's gold, but don't quote me on that. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, the light source. Now, I think this picture is pretty interesting. And the same thing is like the electromagnetic field. You know what I mean? And uh, you see how it's representing the body as well. It's representing the mouth, meaning the North Pole, where the energy comes in at. And then representing the, the anus, where everything that's not good goes out at. And then, of course, you got the heart in the middle, 
which is like the 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 strongest concentration of everything where everything meets at. All right, and then you got the lungs on each side, which representing like the air. You know what I mean? You know because the air is 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 the electromagnetic field, like the air that's moving around and all that kind of stuff. That's the air we breathe. That's the wind we feel. That's when we see the sky turning around in the atmosphere. That's what this representing. So the lungs is representation of the air. You know what I mean? That we breathe and. Our body our, is the middle where it looks like a uh, hourglass. That's the body. And the heart is in the middle of the body. Then you have the anus, the bottom, which the root and everything, the last of everything, the earth. Then you have the mouth, which is the, uh, the south pole, you know, then the, the, that's the north pole or whatever, where everything comes in at, which is pretty self explanatory, which is cool. See, this is a picture showing that, you know, showing that this energy goes around us, but we just can't see it, you know what I mean? You know, but at the end of the day, everything is about the cleavage, the fertilization, you know what I mean? The zygote, you know, producing. That's what it's all about, man. At the end of the day, it's all about the cleavage. Therefore, should a man leave his mother and his father, and cleave unto his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Now, I just wanted to say, in closing, to everyone that really enjoyed what they heard and they learned something from it, be sure to subscribe to the channel. So that way, I know people are being alerted where that. I can start going live for you and have live panels and things like that where that other people can engage and have an opinion and or more likely put bring, uh, present facts about the things being presented, you know what I mean? So that we all can grow as a community. But uh, I hope you guys was able to get something out of this, um, out of this, and I hope it was uh, to your liking. You know what I mean. And be and feel free to leave comments to let me know what you guys would like to hear about and what can be done better, if anything. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day, week, life, all that. You know what I mean. Peace. I holler at you.